Welcome back. It was a wild week in the world of sports. Here to break it all down, Sackby's one and only Joe Davidson. Joe, it has been, as I said, just a whirlwind of a week. You've covered it all. I don't know how, what the word count has been at, but it is up there right now. We're going to dive into it. Uh, we got plenty to get to here. We just saw the sit down with Troy Taylor. You love this hire for Sac State. And uh, just tell me why you love it and why you think this is a step in the right direction for that program. Well, you could see by just talking to Troy. He's got energy without being fake. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, manufactured. It's He's very genuine. He's homegrown. He's um, a terrific coach at everywhere he's been. We certainly know his success at Folsom mm -hmm. with his co-coach Chris Richardson and what he did in college. And uh, th that's the kind of hire, Joe, that's going to really rejuvenate Sac State. And Sac State needed a, a boost, much like UC Davis did. Mm -hmm. And then Dan Hawkins comes in and boom, in his second year there in the FCS playoffs. Now we're going to have both programs for the first time in years, both relevant at the same time. Last time those two programs, Sac State and UC Davis, were both in the playoffs at the same time, 1988. Yeah. That's a long time ago. And, and Troy even said it. It is perfect for this rivalry. It is what this rivalry needs, and he's looking forward to the causeway. Uh, you know Troy from a ways back. Just his matriculation and his, his evolution as not only a player and a coach, but as an individual, uh, what have you seen from Troy, and uh, is that really what makes makes him the perfect guy for this job. Absolutely. He's he's always been a very mature mm -hmm. kind of composed guy. Even in high school, he led this 14-0 uh, team at Cordova in 1985, and he spoke beyond his years even then. Mm -hmm. And I'll tease him now. I said, boy, you, you just you couldn't even fake it a little bit. And, <laughs> and he had a, he was a high school coach at Casa Robo years ago, and it didn't go very well. Mm -hmm. His first couple of years at Folsom as a head coach, they just they weren't getting much progress, not because of a lack of coaching, then he said, let's put in the spread offense. Let's get our best athletes in open space. And then it, he created a monster. Absolutely. And he, he's largely been ahead of the curve when it comes to these offensive attacks. You see everyone trying to implement this type of offense, and he's done it with great success. Uh, we saw a similar type of air raid offense back in the day with his fulsome uh, co-head coach there. And Chris Richardson now going to be on the staff at Sac State. Uh, it couldn't make more sense, but what do you think Chris brings at the next level? He's been a terrific high school coach. Mm -hmm. He's never coached in college. Troy's had some college experience from uh, way back at Cal in mm -hmm. recent stints. Um, and it's like um, what, what Troy Taylor said. He goes, this wasn't going to work unless we did it together. It was going to be a partnership deal. He goes, I trust him more than anybody I've ever known in football. That's a strong statement. He says he's got such a cool demeanor. Uh, they both kind of have that level. Mm -hmm. you know, they're not the uh, rageaholics. They, they, these are not Mike Ditka types. It takes a lot to be a co-head coach at any level right. to sort of have that resignation's not the right word, but to resign oh. to another person's opinion at Lack times. of ego. And he'll, exactly. Chris will be assistant head coach, but he'll be his right-hand man for Troy. So they made it where it works for, for Chris. He doesn't even have to leave town. And their big focus is going to be, let's recruit Sacramento hard. There's mm -hmm. a lot of great talent here. Then the Sac State and UC Davis, they're not going to beat Alabama and yeah. Washington, USC. Different but recruiting they could, pool. Exactly. But they can get the Boise State guys, mm -hmm. the San Jose State, Fresno State. Those are a lot of terrific talent there. And they can keep guys from going to other Big Sky Conference schools, such mm -hmm. as Montana, Montana State, Cal Poly, and things like that. It just puts... Um, it puts Sacramento on notice that uh, these, these, these coaches are, are looking at them. Absolutely, and uh, we will get to that uh, local talent in just a bit, but it cannot be glossed over the job that Chris Richardson did in his tenure at Folsom. Just unparalleled. Uh, the record, the titles, all of it. What do you make of that career? Because all of the, this transition is happening very quickly. How do you put a stamp on Chris Richardson's career at, at Folsom? It's the most dominating um, high school achievement for one decade that we've ever seen around here. Yeah. Um, and not just what I've seen, but even decades before. This decade, Folsom under Chris Richardson and for a while there uh, with Troy Taylor, 127 wins, 10 losses, nine Sac Joaquin section championships. Uh, I'm sorry, nine league championships, mm -hmm. seven section championships, four state championships, including two in a row. That's incredible at the highest level. I think Folsom's going to keep moving on. I think Folsom will, will still do well. It still has, it'll probably be our Sacramento B preseason number one team. They got mm -hmm. a lot of kids back. And of course, the big challenge is, okay, you did it in high school, Chris. Can you do it at Sac State? He loves a big challenge, and he's got a big challenge, and I think they've answered the call everywhere. Troy has in college in the last couple few years, and these guys, uh, brothers in arms, and I think they're going to take it by storm, and 
And I, I think even Dan Hawkins and UC Davis, they're, they like this hire. Let's, yeah. let's have a good rivalry. Let's, let's rev it up around here. Yeah, bring, the, bring a little uh, glimmer back to the causeway. Big time. Folsom, obviously, the gold standard when we're talking about prep football this season. No departure from that rule. But it was a great season for NorCal prep football as a whole. Uh, was this kind of a resurgence in, in your eyes? Oh, it's, um, it's been good for years, Joe, mm -hmm. but this was a real statement for this season. Yeah. If you talk about the Sac Joaquin section alone, Denaire won a state championship small school. Hillmore won a smaller school state championship. Um, Colfax played for a state championship. Mm -hmm. Rio Linda wins a state championship. Del Oro almost wins a state championship. Folsom wins one. Yeah. All of those are public schools. So it shows that you can achieve and excel with public schools, whereas it's dominated in Southern California and the Bay Area in large part by private schools. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just, they, they're, they scored one for all the public schools around the, around the state and really across the country. It is now the hoop season and you cover it all. It doesn't stop for you. Prep hoops in the area, obviously our eyes have been on football thus far, but uh, where should we be turning when we're looking at oh, the prep ranks? The Folsom of high school basketball around here is Sheldon, Sheldon High School absolutely. in South Sacramento and uh, Marcus Bagley is one of the great players already to come marching through here and he's the kid brother of Marvin Bagley the third of the Kings six foot eight uh, junior um, can shoot can dunk great high post passer uh, and a nice young man it's yep. just been a family that's raised those kids right in Folsom High School in basketball Rockland in basketball um, again same kind of thing some of our best programs are public schools absolutely and Capital Christian Jesuit have also been good over the years too, but uh, Sheldon is uh, the number one team in Northern California before the Bagley family moved in, mm -hmm. and now they're you really make that number. addition, yeah. and then uh, it, that's something else. And they're you're fun. cooking with gas at that, and, point. and they do it right. They share the ball over the years. They they play great defense, mm -hmm. and they play above the rim. It's it's kind of the it's a great entertainment value to go watch high school yeah. hoops around here. Definitely a good one to watch if you got a Friday night to right. get out there. One last one for you, Joe. Uh, this one a little bit more of a personal question: Do you sleep? I do sleep. Uh, <laughs> I sleep out there on the couch. No, the, the, you know, it's, and it's great, Joe. The, I'm in my 30th year at the B, and it gets better every year. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have football like this at this level or basketball like this, um, you know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Back then, people, you know, teams were just hoping to reach a section final. And now the elite teams are expecting to win a state championship. That's how far it's advanced. Yeah. Where hopes have now become reality and expectation. That's right. The bar has moved and you're always setting the bar as well. You can find him at SackBJD on Twitter as well as all his work at SackB.com. It is always a pleasure to sit down with you and chat, Joe. Thanks, Joe.